Okay, so inequalities we're gonna treat it kind of like how we did last week, right? When we do when we did adding and subtracting, we we're gonna treat it just like that. The letter has to be on the left side. So I see number nineteen. Let me let me take a look. Let me zoom in. My inequality sign is right there. The letter has to be on the left side. I see the P there. It's on the left. So, okay, we're good. So let me write this as P over 10. It's greater or equal to 4. Good. So P over 10 is greater or equal to 4. So I'm going to do that. Like the letter has to be in the left. Otherwise, remember, you had to flip everything. And kind of like last week, we added or subtracted to get the P by itself. However, in multiplication division, we're going to add an, another rule. When we multiply or divide by a negative, we flip the, the inequality sign as well. So when we multiply or divide by negative, I flip the sign. Now here, I'm trying to get P by itself, so I'm going to multiply both sides by 10. These P's cancel out. So P is greater or equal to 40, right? 4 times 10 is 40. I multiply by positive 10, so I don't flip the sign. So if I'm solving P greater or equal to 40, remember the way we're going to type this, P is greater or equal to 40. So if you're asked to solve, just solve it. If you're asked to graph this, I'm going to do a circle, a, a closed circle at 40. Now it is closed circle because of the or equal to part, okay? Now look at my inequality. It looks like an arrow that's pointing to the right. So I'm gonna go to the right. Let me say what I just said a few seconds again. Let me, a few seconds ago, let me repeat myself. When we multiplied or divide by a negative, we flip the sign. All right, let's take a look at number 20. I see my inequality sign is right there. I need the letter on the left side. So the left side and the right side, they're both going to switch. So I'm going to, I'm going to have 13N on this side and negative 13 on this side. And my inequality sign has to flip as well. Okay. Now to get the N by itself, right? 13 times N, opposite of times is divide. So let me divide both sides by 13. So I'm going to get N is less than negative one, right? Negative 13 divided by 13 is negative one. I said that when we multiply the by by negative, we switch the sign. I didn't switch the sign. I got a response as a negative. I didn't switch the sign because technically I'm looking at the number at the bottom. Technically I divided by a positive. My answer is negative, but I divided by a positive 13. So that's why I did not switch the sign. All right, so if I'm solving n less than negative 1, I'm good. If I'm graphing, I'm going to do a, a circle at negative 1. It is an open circle but because my inequality sign does not have the or equal to part. My inequality looks like it's pointing to the left, so I go to the left. There we go.